Well, from Tinker to Fort Sill to Vance, Oklahoma has long been a major player when it comes to defending our freedom. In recent years, the battlefield focus has been on drone technology. Today, Austin Brissett was at the Oklahoma National Guard's Counter Unmanned Aircraft System Symposium. As most people know, warfare can definitely accelerate the advancement of technology. And today, here in Oklahoma City, military officials and their industry partners are here exploring all the different ways they can protect our military from those technological advancements, specifically drone technology. Drone technology in the fight in Ukraine is becoming as important as the invention of airplanes were in World War I and World War II. Major General Tom Mancino with the Oklahoma National Guard describing a major shift in modern warfare. Small drones capable of targeting down to individuals are destroying tanks. Improvise, adapt, and overcome is a popular slogan for U.S. forces and at the Ham Institute in Oklahoma City. Military leaders here join with state and federal partners to better understand not only how drones are used on the front lines across the world, but also how they can be used against U.S. soldiers. Our role in the National Guard is really to provide a way of taking those theoretical technologies and testing them. Months ago, Mancino says three U.S. service members were killed in a drone incident on the Syrian border that injured dozens more, highlighting this new threat to U.S. forces. You know, we're, we don't get scared, but we uh, identify threats and we take action. This is the Oklahoma National Guard's first ever symposium on unmanned aircraft systems, but it won't be the last as new threats and new tools emerge on the front lines of modern warfare. Austin Brissett, Oklahoma's News 4. And Major General Mancino says the symposium is in Oklahoma due to our state's unique history and industry involving aviation. The event wraps up Wednesday afternoon.